For the last 15 days I've been putting Dexcom's brand new biosensor, the Stello, to the test. It literally just launched, but my team in the US got early access. And here is the kicker, the best thing about the Stello is the price. For everything it offers, this bad boy is surprisingly affordable. In this video I will share my experience and the results of our testing to help you decide if Dexcom Stello is the right fit for you. Let's go! So how does the Stello work? Well, in many ways it's similar to other continuous glucose monitors, aka CGMs, that I've tested on my channel before. You apply the biosensor that has a size of three stacked quarters on the back of your upper arm. Connect it with an app on your phone and the app will provide you with real-time information about your blood sugar for the next 15 days. When the 15 days are over, you simply remove the sensor, dispose of it and if you want you can apply a new one. For my friend Jerry, who lives in the US, Stello was his first CGM experience and he loved it. He didn't want to be on camera but he told me that not having to prick his fingers anymore was a huge relief. He said that tracking glucose 24 7 and seeing how food, exercise and sleep affect his levels was a game changer for him. Full disclosure, Jerry and I received four Stello biosensors from Dexcom for free. But we were not compensated to create this video or told what to say by anybody. Now before we get into more details about Stello and how it is different from other CGMs, we need to talk about who Stello is for and why Dexcom is bringing it to the market. See, until today CGM has only been used by a fraction of people living with diabetes. Why? Well, because the vast majority of people with prediabetes or with type 2 diabetes not on insulin were not well covered. If you belong to this category and wanted to try a CGM, like my friend Cherry, you not only had to make an appointment with your doctor and get a prescription, you also had to pay for everything out of your pocket. Your insurance wouldn't cover the cost and there really wasn't an affordable cash pay option available. But that's about to change. Because Stello can be purchased without prescription for less than $90 for monthly supply. While this medical device is specifically designed for adults diagnosed with prediabetes or type 2 diabetes not on insulin, pretty much anyone can buy Stello online. But now let's take a closer look at this biosensor and what it can do. In the package we found the all-in-one waterproof biosensor with the applicator, Dexcom's overpatch and a quick start guide. The applicator is almost identical with the Dexcom G7 applicator, just a bit darker. And the same goes for the Stello sensor itself. Similar form factor, just a bit darker shade of grey color of the sensor with the Stello logo on it. Before you apply your first sensor you need to download the Stello app from your App Store or Google Play Store. The app walks you through the setup process step by step and teaches you how to apply the Stello sensor and how exactly it works. Just like most CGM sensors, Stello should be applied on the back of your upper arm, right here. But before you do that, don't forget to wash your hands and clean the area you picked with an alcohol wipe. Unscrew the cap of the applicator and press the applicator against your skin. As soon as you push the white button on the applicator, the sensor filament gets inserted under your skin. And don't worry, the application doesn't hurt and the needle comes right out. Once the sensor is applied, you need to secure it by rubbing around the patch three times and gently pressing on top of the sensor for about 10 seconds. Just like Dexcom G7, the Stello has a 30 minute warm up time and the clock starts ticking as soon as you press the button on the applicator and apply the sensor. But what I really like about the Stello is that the biosensor lasts for 15 days, which is a significant improvement to all the sensors Dexcom made in the past. Plus you get an extra 12 hour grace period during which you can switch to your next sensor and which technically adds another half a day to to the wear time of the sensor, a total of 15 and a half days. Now while Stello has the longest sensor wear time on the market, the hardware didn't really change compared to the G7, except for the dark color of the sensor. And just like other CGMs, the biosensor is taking the glucose readings from the interstitial fluid using a small filament placed under the skin. Now I know that many of you struggle with your CGMs not staying on really well and peeling off too early, but I'm happy to report that the Stello adhesive is quite durable. During our test, Cherry and I managed to keep the Stella on for the full 15 days. But to be quite honest, I'm not sure if we'd be able to do that without using an overpatch. You can always use the one that's included with your biosensor, but the ones I like to use are from Skin Grip. Skin Grip patches adjust to my body, they are really durable, plus they look really good on me. Especially their new Classics collection, which is available for all types of CGM sensors, including Stello and Dexcom G7. If you want to grab some, just head out to the Skin Grip online store, use my link below or code type1talks to get 10% off. 
And thank you SkinGrip for sponsoring this video and making it possible. Now there was one more thing we needed to do before we got our Stello session started. And that was pairing the sensor with our phone. To do that, you either enter the pairing code manually or scan the QR code from the applicator with your phone. As soon as you do that, the sensor will pair with your receiving device and then you will see how many minutes are left from the 30 minute warm up time. In our case, it was 22 minutes. Eight minutes had already passed since we applied the biosensor. After that we got our first reading and then another one and another one for the next 15 days. But now that the 15 days are over let me talk about what we liked about the Stello and what we didn't like that much. Now obviously the main benefit to finger pricks is that with the Stello app you get a constant 24-hour view of your blood sugar not just point-in-time readings. You can also track events like meals, exercise, finger pricks or others right in the app. But the one feature that we found the most helpful is called spike detection. It identifies significant spikes in your blood sugar and gives you an option to track what happened before each of the spikes started. When you do this, the app will kind of remind you that when you eat ice cream, your blood sugar will spike. Now it won't tell you to not eat ice cream, but by going back and reviewing the glucose spike triggers, be it food or stress, you can uncover what works for you and what doesn't. You will have the information available and you can choose if and how you want to use it. I personally think that the spike detection feature would be a great addition to the Dexcom G7 app as well. Although the G7 app is a more feature heavy and advanced app, it doesn't have such feature. What we didn't like is that all the blood sugar spike triggers and other events that we logged seem to have disappeared from our events log after two days. I don't really understand why because it would be really helpful to be able to go back and review these things seven days or even 14 days back. But you can't, you just have the two days. Another helpful feature of the Stello app is that you get daily insights about how much time you spent in the ideal glucose range during the last 24 hours. By the way, the target for people with diabetes, like Jerry and I, is between 70 and 180 milligrams per deciliter, with the daily goal of at least 70% in range. The target for people without diabetes or with prediabetes is between 70 and 140 milligrams per deciliter, with the daily goal of at least 96% in range. We also liked that the glucose summary section shows how much time you spent in the target range for the past 3, 7, 14 and 30 days. But the positives don't end here. The app also has a helpful learn section where you can find a ton of helpful information about how nutrition, exercise, stress and sleep impact your glucose. Now I'm sure that the one thing you're curious about is how accurate the stellar readings are when we compare them to finger pricks. And I have good news here. We did several control finger pricks and checked the stellar readings to my glucometer and they were never too far off. From my experience, I would say Stello is just as accurate as Dexcom G7. What's interesting about Stello though is that the glucose readings in the app update only every 15 minutes, not every 5 minutes like with other Dexcom sensors or every minute like with Freestyle Libre sensors. So whenever your glucose is moving rapidly up or down, the sensor readings might be quite a bit behind your finger prick readings. But please don't freak out because this is not a bug of the system, it's a feature. It was actually kind of calming for me to see the readings update only every 15 minutes. I can imagine that anyone who feels overwhelmed by too many CGM readings and just too much information about your blood sugar might benefit from this slower approach, the blood sugar number changing less often. Now overall the app experience is very smooth, intuitive and not overwhelming. And I think that was Dexcom's goal with this app. But if you are someone who is used to and who is happy with the G7 app experience, you might be disappointed with the Stello app experience. For example, the Stello only measures blood sugar between 70 and 250 milligrams per deciliter. So whenever you are above or below this range, you won't know what your exact glucose is. One thing that drove me crazy while testing Stello was switching between vertical and horizontal mode. It was glitching on me quite a lot. I'm not sure if that was because I was testing it on Jerry's Samsung phone and not on my iPhone, but it just didn't work. Plus the events displayed at the bottom of the screen were so small that I found them really hard to read and almost useless. This might be something for Dexcom to improve. 
Now, to be clear, Stella also doesn't have a lot of features that are needed for people with type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, using insulin, and people who suffer from problematic hypoglycemia. It doesn't have low and high blood sugar alerts, it doesn't integrate with an insulin pump only with Apple Health, it doesn't allow you to share your glucose data with a caregiver, it doesn't even have a direct to watch feature. But it kind of makes sense that Stella doesn't have all the bells and whistles of the Dexcom G7, because it's designed to be simple and affordable. For people like Jiri, this is extremely helpful. They don't need all the bells and whistles. Dexcom G7 is a different animal, designed for a different kind of user who needs more extensive features, like myself as a type 1 diabetic. Now, I already told you that Stello is affordable, but how much does it cost exactly? Well, if you make a one-time purchase, it will cost you $99 for a 30-day supply of two Stello biosensors. If you agree to a subscription, you get another $10 off, two sensors for $89, with an option to delay or cancel the subscription anytime. You should be able to use your FSA or HSA, and the sensors can be purchased on the Stello website. Now, if you're not in the US and want to get your hands on Stello, or if you have any other questions you want to ask, I want to invite you to join my Patreon. It's a place where you can message me directly, connect with my community, and I'll do my best to help you with anything and everything, or everything and anything. Now, the thing is, Dexcom Stello is not the only continuous glucose monitor that hit the market this year. In fact, I just recently tested another CGM that you probably never heard of. So go ahead, click on this video and watch it next to find out what it is. I will see you there. Ciao.